Ohayo! My name is Minami Toku and welcome to Undertale Part 5. Now, we solved the first puzzle of Sons and Papyrus, so let's see what we have here. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sons! Where's the puzzle? <laughs> it's right there on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. <laughs> This one? Oh, Monster Kids World Search. Wait a second, didn't uh, the game theorists make a theory about this whole thing? Somewhere. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Well, can I actually? No, I think you, you can't solve it. So let's just walk past it. Sons, you di that didn't do anything. Oops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable! Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, Jumble or crossword? Um, well, with crossword, unless you you have solved a few and knew, know some standard answers, it's quite hard. So let's go for crossword. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill in all the boxes with the letter C. Because every time I look at the crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> oh, good gosh. They're not easy, see? Hey, sons. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Okay. Interesting things. Oh, another note. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it. That you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly jabbed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. Yep. Unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Oh well. And a hole for a mouse. <coughs> Knowing the mouse might one might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. So let's save here. And I don't think there's uh, there's electricity around here in the midst of the woods. Nah. Sign. Warning. Dog marriage. Okay. Dog marriage it is then. Uh oh. Lesser dog appears. Oh. Um. Pet him? And his neck just gets longer and longer. That's so cute! Barking excitedly. Well, we could spare it, but let's just pet it some more. It would lightly touch the dog. It's already overexcited! <laughs> uh, don't move an inch. Barking excitedly. Pet! <laughs> Raises his head up to meet your hand. Wah, 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 wah. Bye, doggy. Let's just pet it some more, shall we? Eta. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> it's overstimulated. Oh, it's so cute. Examine knows no bounds. <laughs> oh. Let's... I don't know actually what happens if the head reaches 
Oh, it won't even attack anymore. You have to jump up to pet the dog. <laughs> Motor reviving? What? So, what happens? Plane take off. <laughs> Good gosh. There's no way to stop this madness. Cattle whistle. Okay. How how much more excited can we get can we get it to get? And just the realm of the clouds. And again. You call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. Far away bark. Mark. Okay. It's <laughs> it comes back down. Mark. How how far can we get this? Pat it again. Oh, we can pat it again, actually. Okay, lowering. Does this continue just in this matter? Come on, come on. Oh, it gets through the text bubble. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, good gosh. It's also so, such little things that are just too good, but let's just spare it. 20 gold. Um, I think the solution to this puzzle... Ah, no, 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 wait. Here. This is actually a map. See? We are here now, and here's the red cross. So there should be something up here. Here. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Well, thank you. We found the switch. Mm, not the Nintendo Switch, though. And... Two dogs appear. Those are cute, too, by the way. What's that smell? What's that smell? If you smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. <laughs> Doggy assault you. Doggy me and Doggeressa. Let's check. Husband of Doggeressa knows only what he smells. I think they both only know what they smell. Number two, Nuzzle Champs 98. Oh. Ow. Ah. Uh, next couples contest. So. I think I need to. Yeah. Roll around in the dirt and snow to smell like them. You smell like a weird puppy. Let's kick human tail. Do humans have tails? Ow! Crap. The dogs may want to re-smell you. Okay, re-sniff? Sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. What? Smells like... Are you actually a little puppy? <coughs> Ow! I don't even... Oh! Crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dog thinks it may be a lost puppy. Uh, roll around some more. You smell like a weird puppy again. Take my wife, please. Don't actually. Ah, yep. I needed to do that. Maybe a lost puppy. I can't spare them yet. Uh, can I pet them? What about me? A dog that pets dogs? Amazing! Ow! Ah, crap. Crap. 
practicing for the next uh, course. Pet again, maybe? Wow, pet by another pup! Don't leave me out! Okay, and back again. Good. Have been expanded. Now I can spare them. Whew. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened for us. Thanks, real puppy. Bye, Dogami and Dogaressa. I told you, they're cute. Oh. So, what about this one? Turn every X into a zero, then press the switch. Yep. It's like a Marubatsu game. Well, obviously the circle is Maru and the cross is Batsu. It's quite popular in Japan. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Mm, what do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Mm, should I tell him that I ate it? Yeah, just to wax him a little bit. Really? Wowie! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then. Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the, co the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You did it backwards now, Papyrus. There we go. There we go. So, as I said, those are Maru and the crosses are Batsu. So, if something doesn't go or you can't do something and or someone Japanese is like giving you this this sign here or even like this, it, it means no, that's not possible. Hey, Papyrus, my brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well... I guess you would have to take care of each other then. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so... I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, very not human. I, the Grey Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. I think it's written on this post here. Turn every X into a circle, then press the switch. Yep. Oh, yeah, it actually does kind of look like your face. Did you just... Did you just move? So, wait, let me think there for a second. Um, okay, we need to get access to those through there. Yeah, I think I got it. Like this. Oh no, I still need to press the switch. Oh crap, that won't work. No, they won't change anymore. Can I reset? <laughs> this looks actually hilarious. Yeah, thanks for resetting. Ah, oh, come on. Brains start working again. How do I do this? Uh, how about we go on... Like... This... Up, 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 up. Just turned into a circle. There we go. Woohoo! Wow, you solved it! And you did it all without my help. Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, 
I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might be even too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Good God, Papyrus is so hilarious. But yes, he does have a point. Oh, hi, sons. I love puzzles. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Um, I noticed. Thanks. Okay, he just say, says the same thing over and over again. I thought he would be saying something else. Oh, we're here already. Hey, it's a human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see, these tiles, once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. Okay, red impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will like electric. Oh, I can't talk apparently. They will electrocute, electrocute you. There we go. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange sentenced. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons. Which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Um, yeah, I understood your explanations, but I, I cannot remember all of them. Good gosh. Actually, uh, you cannot solve this puzzle, but well, you, you can if, if you paid attention and like memorized all this thing but uh, it doesn't actually matter too much I guess great then there's one last thing this puzzle is entirely random when I pull a switch it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before not even I will know the solution <laughs> get ready oh good gosh Well, that's nice. <laughs> and they just dance away. <laughs> oh. oh, wait. This wasn't... No, this wasn't the answer uh, I would need to solve this puzzle. But I think this puzzle will come back later in the game and you, you could all actually solve it, but I'm not quite sure. The machine isn't working. Of course not. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier... It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lesson, he's been improving a lot. Well, because I already played the game, I think I know from whom he's learning cooking. <laughs> Quite hilarious, actually. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Oh. Long time. Lesser dog? What happened? It's a broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. And what's this then? Base of a snow dog. Well, a snow dog with quite a long neck, I must say. It's a broken head of a snow dog. Another dog here? Aware of dog. Please, please, please pet dog. Yep. On the floor inside is a box of pomeranians. Nice pun there. Uh, a cow? Nice monster there. So, but for now I'm gonna save here and I'm gonna end this episode here. 
I think we are almost through all of the puzzles that Papyrus fro will throw at us. So next time we will, I hope we will get to the city then, so that I can show you around some something. And there's actually some more interaction of the characters that I just love. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay determined. Us.